We're not gonna be able to have our own spirit animals for our whiskeys. Yeah, that's some bull island park. That's some bull island park. <laughs> what the hell? Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I bet you five hundred billion dollars I'm gonna make this shit. Billion? Billion dollars. And what do I, what, is it like equal? Like either way, it's the guy owes the other person five hundred billion dollars? I will give you five hundred billion dollars. If you miss it. If I make it. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you miss it, you owe me at least five bucks. All right. All right. Ah, five bucks. <laughs> Okay. I was close though. I'm gonna make you feel better. Let's call it 450. Yeah. <laughs> I was close. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it feel better yeah. by pouring you a really what I hope is an astounding whiskey. Good. Also from Brandon Jensen, magnificent bastard. Brandon Jensen. Uh, I don't phone it in. You're gonna be a little more excited. I don't phone. Here in a second. Oh. Oh, the magnificence coming off of this thing. This you this can feel it. Special edition. The heat coming off it. Highland Park. Man, look at the redness on this. Isn't that glorious? That is the most, is it? Is the bottle? Yeah, the bottle's red. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be. The bottle stinted red. Okay, so this is called the Fire Edition. Ah, hence the name. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Brandon Jensen. You magnificent. <laughs> Like you're, like you're plotting. That's, that's like wings or something. Man. He's got the silica packets. Yeah, just in case. I don't really understand what that's for, but that's fine. Well, it's got the, a felt thing at the bottom. You don't want to get funky. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so what's the story? These are these are for people who want to display whiskeys and not drink them. This is a two-part series. Mm -hmm. The Ice and Fire series. Ah, I was going to pour you some more. Um, so, by the way, here's the thing about Highland Park. Oh. I I think they might be watching this show. What? Because oh, because they released an eagle and a bear edition. Yeah, I think so too. And then last week they released a dolphin edition. Yeah. So hey, fellas, I'm just saying. You know what? Just <laughs> give us some credit here. If the only three prominent animals we have in the entire <laughs> show is the first three animals you actually promote. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm just saying. Look. I have so few ideas. <laughs> Quit taking them all. Quit taking my ideas. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, named after the glowing or uh, celebrating Muspelheim. I say that forty percent. The Norse fire realm of destruction. Forty percent serious. Six, yeah. Sixty percent jokingly. This is a fifteen-year-old port cask finished Highland Park. Here's so. Now there's decent color. I'm thinking, why would they make the bottle red? Are they ashamed of the lightness? It's 28,000 bottles. It's kind of light, but the nose is just springing out of this glass. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, the nose is just vanilla and fruit to me. Yeah, it's um... And what's weird is a lot more vanilla than I would have thought from a port finished whiskey. With a, with a fruity butter base. Yeah. A fruity butter base. It's rich. Yeah, very rich. If Highland Park comes out with the Mooch edition. <laughs> I will. I'll do unsavory things. Oh man, that is rich. Mm -hmm. Almost to the point of clingy. Oh no, it's lightly smoky, but it's got this kidding? super sweet clingy vibe. Oh, the well, it's slightly on. bitter. Hold even. on, hold on. The clinginess turns into funk. Mm-hmm. You have all this like nicely balanced sweetness, and uh, you get a little little bit of salt, a little bit of. Uh, you know what it reminds me of? It, no, salt's not the word. Salt's not the word. No, it's not salt. It's. Can you get earthiness without dirt? Is that possible? Yeah. So you ever eat a plum and accidentally get more of the skin than of the meat? I could see that. And so uh, you get this weird sort of bitter tang yeah. because it's all it's all the yeah. peel. Basically, mm -hmm. and I've had that when you try to bite into a plum and you accidentally just peel the plum, and so you end up with a mostly. Uh, you know what? What the finish is funk though. It is. It's odd. Yeah, it's an odd finish. I really like it, especially for a fifteen-year-old whiskey. I really like it. You know what this? I'm not really sure what to do with that. Reminds me of a little bit of the black art. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
No. All right. Not even close. T minus how many days until October 1st? Uh, like four or something like that. Okay. We'll yeah, find, we'll it's find, we'll not find even out. close, we'll find man. Out. We'll find out. It also reminds me of the Red Breast 32. And no, it does. You're just making shit up. The second shelf of that cabinet. Yeah, it reminds me of everything on the second shelf. <laughs> it reminds me of this third of the room. <laughs> it reminds me of... <laughs> Some reason it reminds me of a full steak dinner and a back rub <laughs> and your and wallet and actually. your money. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is Jimmy Leg. Mm. Daniel, I'm using your yes. preferred name because <gasps> a compliment is coming. As opposed to Danny, which he likes to call me. Does he? He's Jimmy Leg. Does he? Okay. Yeah, or Dan. He does it on purpose. All right. You did an excellent job explaining the fast aging thing. Oh. Excellent use of simile, sir. Thank you. And yes, it hurts to type that. <laughs> it's okay, Jimmy. I get it. I, I think the only human being that has more opinions than Jimmy Leg is my not quite two year old daughter. Yeah, she's got opinions. And she's very skeptical of you. And she is snarky. <laughs> and she it's all in the eyebrows and the facial expressions. She does not do poker face. <laughs> she <laughs> She does not do poker face. She will look at her and you're like, hey, what's up? Eden, she's like <laughs> what? If she doesn't blink, she just Bitch. stares and burns a hole in your soul. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first name. Jackin. Jackin. I don't know. Harder. Jackin. Harder. Uh, with whiskey aging faster in hotter climates mm -hmm. and slow in colder climates like Scotland. Yeah. What about climates like Ohio that are hot in the summer and cold in the winter? How would that affect the barrel aging? It's actually a thing. So um, there are, I think, one of the reasons some of my favorite malts in the U.S. are coming from the Northwest yeah. is because that climate is more similar to Scotland than the rest of the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it affects it by the more you have temperature extremes, the more aggressive the whiskey goes in and out of the barrels. Mm -hmm. And so your barrel impact is always going to be higher. Mm -hmm. Now, if it gets really, really hot and it really pushes the whiskey out of the barrel, right. then that's Texas. Yeah. If it just, it's hot enough that it's like, yeah, it really absorbs and then cold enough that it comes completely out of the barrel, mm -hmm. that didn't usually get that cold in Texas. So in Texas, the at whiskey least, never... At least not for more than just like a day or two. Yeah. And in Texas, the, the whiskey never really gets a chance to get fully out of the barrel right. wood. It's almost always being pushed into the barrel wood. Mm. Whereas in, you know, probably Midwest and Northern Midwest, mm -hmm. it might actually get to do the full out and in. And we're finding out. We're finding out. Now, I think we talked about Texas being sort of a taste region. Yeah. I think we're about to found, find out as more craft distilleries show up in different states, mm -hmm. how many other cohesive climates. Because yeah. I think what happens in America is you don't get regions by state. Right. You get regions by climate. Right. I, I think. Yeah. And uh, so that'll be interesting to see what climate. And Texas is just huge. And it so really it sort is. of contains its own so climate. I don't think, uh, factoid, the distance between the eastern tip of Texas to like the western tip of Texas. Mm -hmm is further away than the distance between the western tip of Texas and Los Angeles. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So when in touring, we would leave LA and we would get to Texas in like 12, 14 hours. And we'd be like, yay, we're halfway. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no, you're in El Paso, which means you still have roughly a 20-hour drive ahead of you yeah. before you get to Louisiana. Uh, was it Steinbeck said about Texas? Mm. Texas is a huge state that once you get into it, takes forever to get out, and some people never make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Jack Davis. So forgive me my ignorance, but why can't you ship directly to consumers? Laws. Laws, because prohibition never really ended. It was just handed down to the states. Just some people feel like their purpose is to create rules and laws for things, even whenever there's... Proven examples in other countries, other regions of the planet, where it's it can be done responsibly and without issue. That's five dollars. No, that was there was a limit on number of attempts. No, <laughs> there's no <laughs> just until I, don't I make think it. You understand how betting works <laughs> until so. I make it. Until I make it. All right. Anything interesting in the brochure? No, just the story of Norse mythology. Oh, well, I'm surprised it's not the story of us. Hey. No, that's a TV show. Oh. Well, they ripped off everything else. This is us. <laughs>
which one of us is Mandy Moore? Seriously though, because like, look, <laughs> look, the bear and the eagle. I was yeah. like, all right, maybe it's a coincidence. The dolphin. Come on. But what the hell? Come on. God. And it's probably like the higher ups have no idea that <laughs> some a in marketing watches this show thinking, oh, that's a good idea. You know, like everybody that watches these channels is gonna get the reference. They're gonna buy the whiskey. They're gonna buy the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that were true. Dude, that, I'm, that would be such a great story. I'm, I'm, that's my story. You're sticking to it? That's the story. I'm right. sticking to it. Yeah. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me if I for a friend. If you steal, yeah. may I steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with it. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.